you, District Officers. My name is Mia Gibson, currently serving as the 2020-2021 Iowa FFA State Secretary. And my name is Blake Vanderkamp, and I'm currently serving as your Iowa FFA State Reporter for the 2020-2021 year. The National FFA Convention and Expo celebrated its 93rd year by providing a virtual FFA experience for all, beginning October 27th. This event was televised by RFD TV in conjunction with the National FFA organization. 207,014 FFA members and guests from throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands registered for this year's event, which concluded October 29th. The convention and expo kicked off on live television on Tuesday, October 27th. Six general sessions were held virtually along with the organization's innovative agricultural experiences, such as the FFA Connect Rooms, Blue Rooms, exhibitor live chats, and student workshops. On the evening of Tuesday, October 27th and Wednesday, October 28th, the special American degree sessions were held, where American FFA degrees, the highest degree for an FFA member, were bestowed upon more than 4,000 FFA members. The Iowa FFA Association has representation and attendees involved in all phases of the event. The following is a summary of results and accomplishments of the I of Iowa FFA members in the respective national the Honorary American FFA degree is the highest degree an FFA member can achieve. It is awarded to individuals who have provided exceptional service on a national level to agriculture and agriculture education. This year, Bob Lemmerd from Mingo received his Honorary American FFA degree because of his many years of service to the organization. Congratulations. The Agri Science Fair is for FFA members who are interested in the science and technology of agriculture. Students can compete in 36 divisions across six system areas. Animal, environmental and natural resources, food products and processing, plant, power, structural and technical, and social. In the animal systems category, Adeline Shoulderman placed third in division one. Coming from Beckman Catholic FFA chapter, Jasmine Holger placed third in division three. In the Food Products and Processing Systems category, Clark Spencer of the Red Oak FFA chapter received third place. In the category of Power, Structural, and Technical Systems, Tyler Salarin of the Beckman Catholic FFA chapter received second place in Division 5. In Division 6, Katherine Grebner and Lauren Goldsmith of Beckman Catholic received third place. Moving into the Social Science category, in Division 6, Emma Aronson and Delana Brugman of the Sioux Central FFA chapter are in third place. The winner of Power, Structural, and Technical Systems coming from Beckman Catholic is Tessa's Talk. Tessa evaluated the effectiveness of WD-40, Blake Cleaner, and Vinegar to improve electrical connections in a six-way round connector plug. Congratulations, Tessa. The National Proficiency Award has 45 individual supervised agricultural experience-based categories. Each state is allowed to submit one award to advance to the national competition in each category. In the area of agricultural communications, entrepreneurship, and placement went to Kelsey Holdgrafer from the Northeast FFA chapter at Goose Lake was a finalist. In the area of agricultural sales placement, Peyton Lehman from the North Fayette Valley FFA chapter was a finalist. In the area of beef production entrepreneurship, Ty Schlerman from the Spencer FFA chapter was a finalist. In the area of diversified agricultural production entrepreneurship placement, Blake Frost from the Charles City FFA chapter was a finalist. For the proficiency area of diversified crop production entrepreneurship, Jordan Balderston from the Alburnett FFA chapter was a finalist. In the area of specialty animal production entrepreneurship placement, Joshua Heffelfinger from the Grinnell FFA chapter was a finalist. The winner in the diversified crop production placement at the national level was Nathan Kroger from the Carroll FFA chapter. Nathan works for his family's crop farm and grain hauling business. He is tasked with all corn and soybean tasks from planting to harvest and much more. The operation consists of 1,800 acres of soybeans and 6,000 acres of corn. Congratulations, Nathan. 
The National Chapter Award Program recognizes FFA chapters that successfully complete an annual program of activities, which includes a series of activities designed to encourage its members to grow as individuals, to work as part of a team, and to serve others. Iowa had 13 chapters that received a three-star rating, along with 12 FFA chapters that received a two-star rating. North Scott FFA was a finalist in the National Chapter Awards Models of Excellence category. National Chapter Models of Excellence awards chapters with exemplary qualities in growing leaders, building communities, and strengthening agriculture. 90% of North Scott FFA members do not come from an agricultural background. Therefore, they base their activities on that and strive to develop their members through strong relationships in the community and a diverse program of activities. Every year, members from across the nation audition to be involved in the National FFA Band, Choir, and Talent. This year, two Iowa FFA members performed in the National FFA Band, which was conducted virtually. This included Megan Byrett from the Pella FFA Chapter and Michaela Field from the Iowa Falls Alden FFA Chapter. The American FFA degree is the highest degree that a member can receive. Less than 1% of members receive this prestigious award. This year, a total of 4,136 members from across the country received this honor. This degree is awarded to members who have demonstrated the highest level of commitment to FFA and made significant accomplishments in their supervised agriculture experiences. A member must have either earned at least $10,000 and productively invested $7,500 or earned and productively invested $2,000 and worked 2,250 hours in excess of scheduled class time. Any combination of hours times a factor of 3.56 plus actual dollars earned and productively invested must be equal to or greater than the number 10,000. They must also have a record of outstanding leadership abilities and community involvement and have achieved a high school scholastic record of C or better. These members have participated in at least 50 hours of community service within at least three different community service activities. These hours are in addition and cannot be duplicated as paid or unpaid supervised agriculture experience hours. These are the 126 American Degree recipients from Iowa. Congratulations to everyone that competed at the 93rd National FFA Convention. We also hope that all of the FFA members in attendance enjoyed the innovative FFA experiences and opportunities provided throughout this convention. This experience strives to promote all members' development of their premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. This convention was truly FFA for all. Once again, my name is Blake Vanderkamp, and I'm serving as your Iowa FFA State Reporter. And I'm Mia Gibson, serving as your Iowa FFA State Secretary. We hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode of Iowa FFA Today. We will see you sometime.